The potting operation is a major component of most production nursery operations. Increasing the overall efficiency of the potting process can free up resources for other parts of the business and improve plant quality. The following video describes the different potting methods used in the nursery industry. As much of the potting process relies on human labour, worker comfort will impact on the overall efficiency of potting. Staff standing on hard, inclined and wet surfaces can lead to fatigue and a decline in productivity. Moving materials is a major part of the potting operation. If the time spent in material handling can be minimised, the overall efficiency of the operation will increase. Consideration should be given to the proximity of the potting area, to the media storage, to the plants to be potted, to the pots and containers, and to the other inputs. Quality parameters such as grading, watering and growing media quality need to be monitored during the potting operation to ensure the final product meets the required specifications. In making the decision on which system is best, repairs, capital cost, running costs per unit potted and payback period need to be considered. Manual potting systems are the most common methods used in smaller nurseries. The capacity of these systems vary between 100 and 150 pots per hour per person. Manual potting systems have low setup capital costs, low technical skill and minimal management requirements. Manual potting is flexible and has the ability to accommodate specific requirements such as potting with totems. They are suited to small runs and can accommodate large variations in pot sizes and types, can utilise recycled containers and give flexibility in location of potting. Manual potting systems have high physical demands that may present occupational health and safety issues. The efficiency of these systems can vary between businesses and the output is largely limited by potter efficiency. Manual potting can lead to variable quality and quantity outputs, often due to the lack of uniformity in potting or fertiliser application. Semi-automatic potting systems utilise machines or equipment to perform part of the potting operation, mainly container filling. The capacity per person of these machines can vary between 125 and 200 pots per hour. Semi-automatic systems require a medium level of investment, a medium management and technical skill level, and are suited to small to large potting runs. The output of the operation is determined by staff, but due to the reduced physical demands on the potters, has the potential to be more efficient than manual potting. Semi-automated potting is generally more cost effective than manual potting, has more consistent quality and quantity outputs, can be adapted to automatically add fertiliser and can be utilised to stage crops in a range of different container sizes. Semi-automated systems require a higher level of technical expertise and staff training in potting and growing media management. Maintenance is more critical, particularly with corrosion and machines require regular maintenance programs. The capital cost of these systems is higher than manual potting systems with additional requirements such as loaders, an energy source and a dedicated area for the potting operation. These semi-automated machines can overmix the growing media due to continuous recirculation. Occupational health and safety issues such as repetitive strain injury, noise and dust need to be managed. Automatic potting systems fill the container and make a suitable hole for plant placement. Automatic systems can be set up to dispense fertiliser, apply water and move the potted plant to conveyors or tables for transport to the growing areas. The speed of potting is determined by factors such as the machine type, setup, location of resources and the quality of planting material. The capacity per person can vary between 150 and 400 pots per hour. Automatic potting systems have the potential to increase the output of the potting operation. Completing the operation in a shorter time frame frees up resources for use in other areas of the business. Automated potting has the potential to improve the quality of potting and reduce the cost per unit. The equipment used in automated systems has a significant capital investment in the machine. Other equipment such as pot dispensers, conveyors, turntables, tractors and hoppers in a dedicated potting area may be necessary. 
Automatic potting systems require higher levels of management to organise the operation and improved operator skill to operate and adjust the machine. Automatic potting machines can have difficulty in using recycled and non-standard pots. More staff are required for automatic potting operations and production stoppages can lead to significant inefficiencies. Time is required to initially set up the equipment for each potting operation and also when changing pot sizes, potting depth and tube size, which can reduce the overall efficiency of the potting operation. More information can be found in the Horticulture Australia Limited funded project report Optimum Work Methods in the Nursery Potting Process, available from the Nursery and Garden Industry website. Industry best practice guidelines provide valuable information and instructions on developing and operating an efficient production nursery. This video has been produced by the Nursery and Garden Industry Queensland and supported by the Nursery and Garden Industry Australia, the Nursery and Garden Industry Association of New Zealand and Horticulture Australia Limited. Special thanks go to the following businesses for assistance in producing this video. For further information, contact the Nursery and Garden Industry Australia or the Nursery and Garden Industry Association of New Zealand.